Yeah, God bless you. Just to re-emphasize some of the things that have been shared with us as a matter of reminder earlier, I'd like to remind you and to share with you and to tell you 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 now. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are about to close, but in the time I have... I have Pressed in my spirit to remind you of these things. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? Uh, he says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creature. He says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, are you in Second Corinthians 5 17? Glory to God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. This is so important. He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The part I want to show you is just those two words, new creature. Some versions may say new creation. He is a new type of being. He is a new class of being. He is a fresh type of being. He is a fresh type of new creature that has not existed before. You know, I've often taught and shared with you what the word new there means, right? It means to be a new kind, an unprecedented kind. Are you following what I'm saying? So the, when we say that any man that is in Christ is a new creature, we are saying that the man that is in Christ is an unprecedented type of man. Are you getting what I'm saying this morning or this evening? When you are in Christ, you are what? An unprecedented type. An unprecedented kind. Your kind is as has not existed before. You are the first class of human beings having these peculiar features like you have existing in the world today. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You are a new type, a fresh kind. A kind that has not existed before. One of the big blessings you could give to yourself and to your life is to understand that you are a new creature. When you say that you are born again, when we come to preach to you and you turn your heart to the Lord, and you say that you believe the gospel we shared with you, and you listen to what I'm saying, and you call yourself a Christian, what you are saying when you receive eternal life into your life is that you are now a new creature, an unprecedented creature. Are you following? What? Actually, the word in the Greek that's translated new actually means one of the meanings is unprecedented. A type that the world is looking at and the world is looking at you in wonder. Like the whole creatures of God, the whole creation of God are looking to you and they are amazed that your type could ever exist. Are you following what I'm saying? So the new creature is the type of being that even angels look at and are shocked that he exists. Angels look to the new creature and they are surprised that God could have poured out all of his power, all of his energy, all of his ability into creating a being like you. Are you following what I'm saying here? When you put your heart or your faith rather in Jesus, this is what happens to you, brothers and sisters. You have become new in every aspect. Every aspect. Your records are wiped clean. You are now a forgiven being, a justified person. Are you getting what I'm saying? And not just that, you have now been empowered. Empowered with the very abilities of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is why I tell you every time that the new creation cannot fail. Yes. When you believe in Jesus and you are conscious of this thing. You know, many walk in darkness because they know not. That's what the Bible says. It says they know not, so they walk on in darkness. It says the foundation of the earth have gone out of course. Because they do not know, things are not arranged in their lives. Are you getting what I'm saying? Things are, 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 are distorted as it were. Life is upside down for many because of their ignorance of these things. As I share this truth with you week in, week out, it's important that you make it into your consciousness. Keep these words before your very eyes. Keep them before your very fall. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Keep them before you. Bind them around your neck. 
David told his son to bind the words around his neck. Don't let the words go. Your life is in it. Are you getting what I'm saying here? So you must always be conscious of these truths that we communicate to you. You are a new creature. Do you believe in Jesus? Wherever you are watching from, do you believe in Jesus? Have you received Jesus into your life? Have you received eternal life into your spirit? Then you are the one that is referred to as the new creature. Christ now lives on your inside. And the Bible says that if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he says, that man is an unprecedented creature. That man is a new creature in every phase. In every aspect is a new creature. The word means to be new every way. Anywhere you turn him is a new creature. So there has not been any creature like him. That's so important. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I told you on Sunday, I told you that the new creature is God's best. So you are God's best. God finished, you know, in, in our preaching English, when we talk, we say, God finished work for your body. Are you following what I'm saying? When he designed you, he designed you as his best. You have to know that. You have to know what this means. This has great implications, my brother. My sister, it has mighty implications. You can't keep carrying yourself along, around the world as if there is no God. Dressing anyhow as if, as if God did not really pay for you. Are you following what I'm saying? As if you are just like the others. No. When you became a Christian, there was something about you that changed. And the more conscious you are about it, the more you can walk in it. The more you know about it, the more you come to a full awareness of the fact that you are now a new creature. The more you can walk as a new creature. You cannot walk the earth as a new creature if you don't even know what it means to be a new creature. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I said you are God's best creation. Oh, say it to yourself. Say I'm God's best. God's got nobody better than me. God has not got anybody better than me. He's got nobody better than me. I'm his best. I'm his best. This is how I think. I, I, this is how I think. Every day, this is how I think. I'm God's best. Everything falls in line for me. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Everything is falling in line for me. Everything. Life aligns because I'm God's best. Life obeys because I'm God's best. Situations have to obey because I'm God's best. They all have to bow to what I want because I'm God's best. You know what it means to be God's best? When you look to the old and you see the old man, those natural men without Christ in them, even the believers who didn't have Christ in them, look through the Old Testament and see how much they did. Are you following what I'm saying? When you bring some of those lives and you put it in today's world, it will still be a wonder. Imagine that you carry Daniel and put in this age. It will still be a wonder. And that's substandard creation. Forgive me to say that, but that's just me trying to communicate truth with you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Daniel, in all respect to him, all respect to the work the Lord did in his life. But you have to understand that Daniel was short of God's best. That's why the Bible says that the new creation is fresh. <laughs> a new type, unprecedented. Nobody imagined that God could have done this kind of thing. So God finished work for your body. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Oh, say it with me. Say, God finished work for my body. Yeah. Sometimes you may need to switch to understand these things. He did complete work. No part of your life did he live untouched. Are you following what I'm saying? So David now, in all the glory that David walked in, now, as a part of that great crowd of witness, looking down at the new creation, he's shouting, oh, I wish I had lived in their time. Did they even know what they have? I can imagine some of the saints of old standing now in the clouds, looking down to us on the earth and seeing how that many believers don't even know what they have. It's so painful. They know not. Neither do they understand. So they walk on in darkness. Brothers and sisters, you have become a new creation. When you believed in Jesus, you became. You were genomized. You were made into something that had not existed before. That thing is called a new creature. That's who you are. That thing is called the righteousness of God in Christ. That's who you are. And I told you what it means to be the righteousness of God in Christ last Sunday. 
But understand that the righteousness of God is the same as the new creation. And both you and the new creation, both the righteousness of God and the new creation, and the believer, and the born again man, you are all one and the same. The same way we are describing the same being. God is forever at peace with you. <laughs> forever. Lost the ability to even be angry at you. Yes. That's who you are as a new creature. And I told you, I said this means that you can never fail. You must be conscious of the fact that you cannot fail. Say to yourself, say I can never fail. Or say it like you mean it, brothers and sisters. Say it like you know what you are talking about. No, 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 no. No failure around me. There is no failure around me. It's only success that is around me. I'm God's best. And God's best cannot afford to fail. You know, the stakes are too high for you to fail. Do you understand what I'm saying? The work, I say you finish work for your body. The work that the master had done in your life is too much to waste with failure. You can't live in failure without such a work. Look at the men that were, the Bible says that the first Adam was made a living soul. The second one was made a life-giving spirit. So, just imagine the order you come from. You came from that life-giving spirit. You know you are a life-giver. While the other guy just had a living soul. You had the ability to communicate life to other people. I said you are God's best creation. What could be better than this? The answer is nothing. Nothing could be better than this. You know, Jesus walked the earth. Being the firstborn among many brethren. Be the first to start off this new race. Are you listening to what I'm saying? When Jesus, as the first man to begin this new race, walked the earth, the Bible says something about him. He declared concerning himself. He said that a greater than Solomon is here. That's what Jesus said. But Jesus began a new race. He started. The second Adam was made a life-giving spirit, said the scriptures. So he started a new type of beings. Are you getting what I'm saying? The ones we said were genomite into the earth. They had not existed before. Fresh guys. God's latest innovation. Are you getting this? And actually, to say God's latest innovation would not be correct. Because that would mean, or would not be perfectly correct. Because that could mean that God will still have another innovation later. Are you getting what I'm saying? But that's not the case. You are actually God's best innovation. You are his masterpiece. <laughs> oh, you know, have you ever seen a work of art? Maybe you find a picture. Have you ever had a picture of yourself printed to you and somehow you didn't like that picture? So you decided to use your pen to shift the ear and rearrange the ear or the eyes or something. When you did that, what happened? You disfigured the image. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because what came out was your perfect image. Anything added would be an addition or rather would cause more damage than good. That added ink you went to put somewhere because you wanted to readjust the nose. Just disfigured the thing because it tampered with the original image. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So when we say that God's, you are God's masterpiece like Ephesians 2.10 tells us. He says that we are what? His workmanship. And the word workmanship there means his masterpiece, his best creation. So when the scriptures tells you that you are God's best creation, what it is telling you, this is so important, child of God. What it is telling you is that you are God's best. Are you getting it? It means that God cannot, can no longer do anything better than you. He finished his wisdom. All of his wisdom. This is what Paul knew. That made Paul to say this. In Ephesians chapter 2. He says, I mean Colossians chapter 2. He says that you are complete in him. Are you following this? When Paul said that you are complete in him. He meant that there could not be anything added to you. This is so important. Child of God, walk with this consciousness. Go to work tomorrow with this consciousness. Go to bed tonight with this consciousness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Walk on the streets with this consciousness. You are God's masterpiece. God finish work for your body. Are you following what I'm saying? This is so important. It's so important. He says we are complete in him. Colossians 2. Complete in him. Who is the head of all principalities and power? The Bible says that we are complete in him. Complete in him. Then he says something in verse... Oh, let me read to you Colossians 2. 
Turn your Bibles there. Colossians chapter 2. Le grade galabahastophis. Niga dadahati. Colossians chapter 2. We read verse 3. Colossians 2 and verse 3. Reda hasando lobo sitahati. Look what the Bible says about Christ in verse 3 of Colossians chapter 2. It says, in him, speaking about Christ, it says, in him are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Let me tell you a little about what that means. Now, that's not where I'm going to today, but just let's pinch it a little. Are you following this? What that means is that in Jesus Christ, any kind of wisdom, is not spiritual wisdom he was talking about here. Are you listening to what I'm saying? He says all. All includes all. All right? All means everything minus nothing. That's what all means. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So wisdom in mathematics, wisdom in hairdressing, wisdom in business, wisdom in uh, government, wisdom in any leadership position, any kind of wisdom that you need, academic, spiritual, uh, uh, biological, whatever kind of wisdom. The Bible says that in Christ, in Christ, I hid all the wisdom all the treasures rather of wisdom and knowledge so when you have jesus you have access to everything that's what he's saying every single thing every single thing that could make for the the, the perfectness as it were or to, that could make for perfection in life and in godliness you've got all you've got all of it then he goes on to tell us this go down quickly to verse 9 we read verse 9 and verse 10 together he said, for in him, speaking about Christ, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Christ, all of God was deposited in, in Christ. That's what he says. Then in verse 10. Now, all of that is beautiful, right? You, are, you, are, you like it now because all of that is talking about Christ. Are you following what I'm saying? He's telling you that in Christ, all the wisdom is there. In Christ, all the knowledge is there. In Christ, all of God, all of the Godhead is there. But in verse 10, he says something big about you, the new creation. Say, this one is about me. Say, like you mean, say, this one is about me. Verse 10, he says, and you, and ye are complete, perfect. The work, I said, God finished work for your body. I told you before. Look at it. He says, and ye are complete in him. So once you became a new creation, once you came into Christ, the moment you entered into Christ, you know the Bible says, I'm being found in him. Paul was speaking. So there is a context where oh, there's a, a time a, of life. That time you became a believer, you were found in him. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You were born into him. So now that you are found in Christ, now that you have been deposited into Christ, because of your faith in Jesus, that faith that translated you from the kingdom of darkness and put you in the kingdom of his dear son, that faith that removed you from hell and made you a citizen of heaven, that faith, are you listening to what I'm saying? That broke the power of darkness over your life totally. That faith that took you from the dominion of sin, of Satan and of sickness, that faith, this faith did something for you. He planted you in him. And the Bible says that for you are complete. You are full. Complete. I said the new creation is God's best work. If you are already complete in him, who else will he ever create? Speaking about the new creation, he said the new creation is complete. Are you that new creation child of God? Yes, you are. If you are born again, you are. <laughs> but to be born again is nothing complex. It just means that you have put your faith in Jesus for salvation. That's all. Glory to God. You are the one that is complete in him. I am complete in him. I am complete in Christ. I'm complete in him. Yes. Yes. Complete in him. And I told you something from the beginning. I said that you are God's best creation. Oh, say it to yourself one more time. Say it like you mean you say I'm God's best creation. <laughs> Say it like a minute one more time. I'm God's best. I'm God's best creation. No one ever. Just like Jesus showed up and declared a greater than Solomon is here. So I come in after the same order. I'm a greater than Solomon. So when next you talk, never say that Solomon was the wisest man that lived. No, you are living right now. Are you following what I'm saying? Solomon was the wisest man before the new creation. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Before Christ. He was that's what the Bible teaches 
because jesus says that the greater than solomon is here and as he is so are we are you following what i'm saying if he was greater than solomon then we are greater than solomon are you listening to what i'm saying that means that if solomon functioned in such wisdom listen to what i'm saying before solomon all the kings of israel were fighting battles when solomon showed up listen to what i'm telling you solomon reigned for many decades many years and in all the years that solomon raised reign there was not one battle in the land that's wisdom it takes wisdom to lead people and not fight you don't you didn't hear what i said though that company that you are in that you are jumping to trouble every day every day <laughs> wisdom by wisdom you could find peace in the land that's god's special blessing upon that man you can have more than that that's what i'm showing you why because he wasn't a new creation you are a new creature are you getting what i'm saying now after now return and listen over and over to the tape it's so important you must build in yourself this consciousness you are god's best creation say with me i'm god's best creation don't get tired of saying it if you are streaming online be typing it and typing it again again and again until it be as you are saying it be typing it i am god's best creation put it everywhere if you can stamp it on your head stamp it there i'm his masterpiece is best work of art i am god's best creation complete in him that's who i am new creation in christ jesus that's exactly who i am i am god's best creation and i said what that means is that you cannot fail so that failure in business is alien to your nature did you hear what i just told you so never accept it as normal this is where christians used to mess up they take the way other people used to experience difficulty in their lives they take it and they assume that because they too are living in this world they too should be experiencing those kind of things that people lack sponsors in their business does not mean that you should lack sponsors in your business why you are god's best creation that people have to knock on the business door 50 times before it opens for them does not mean that it should not open for you at the first knock are you getting what i'm saying it's all a consciousness matter if you find for most christians even those in business you find that they have built into themselves a consciousness of the world which means that we have to try and try and try we have to fail sometimes and rise up sometimes that is not god's thinking that is according to the adamic nature are you listening to what i'm saying that is according to the old man the new creation in christ shouldn't be falling and rising falling and rising it should be rising from one level to the next from one level to the next from one level to the next he says the path of the just that new creation as a shining light that is shining brighter and brighter brighter and brighter until he gets to full perfection are you listening to what i'm saying so stop receiving the thinking of the world because you are god's best creation are you following what i'm telling you say with me say again one more time and say it well i am god's best creation i am god's masterpiece <laughs> there is no failure in my life i am better than adam better than moses better than solomon better than daniel i'm a new creation lift your hands and speak in other tongues Lift your hands and speak in other tongues. Gele brado go stesha fatas. Oh samanante. Eh rege di basso teka. Labako jata labako se kinada pa. Don't accept mediocrity child of God. Don't accept a mediocre life. Don't accept a life of struggling. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. Reject it with everything on your inside. Reject it with everything on your inside reject it reject that life of slow motion don't 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 accept it as normal frown at it get angry at it be be fine ah shapalate you are god's best god's best creation your business does not have to go down that company does not have to crash it doesn't have to end in your locality are you listening to what i'm saying it does not have to you can deploy eternal life and use it to garnish this thing eh? are you listening to what i'm saying it becomes the joy of the world you can because you are god's best creation 
God's best creation. Liga Patos. Did you see it? I, I hope everything I've been reading, did you read them from your own Bible? Colossians 2 and verse 10, complete in him. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17, a new creature. And I told you that new creature means unprecedented creature. That's what the word there means. A fresh creature, an unprecedented type. A type that amazes everyone. Everyone is saying and say, wow, wow. So the angels, they look to the new creation and they are like, wow. The, the, the saints of old all look to the new creation and say, wow, why, were we, why was this not our time? <laughs> Wow. God's best creation. God finished work for my body. Lift your hands and give him praise. Brothers and sisters, they're big things. Are you listening to what I'm saying? If you have somebody near you, tell them they're big things. They're big things. Step out. Step out. Don't waste this righteousness. Don't waste this righteousness. Don't just use it to sit down in one place. Use it to become an achiever. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Step out. Step out. They're big things. They're big things. You don't have to reduce the size of your dream. Are you listening to what I'm saying? For fear of failure, many reduce their dreams. They bring it down. They have dreams to cover the world, but they reduce it to a nation. They have dreams to cover the world, but they reduce it to a, 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 a city. They have dreams to cover the world. They reduce it to a local government. Don't reduce your dream, my brother. Don't reduce your dream, my sister. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Don't. You are the very righteousness of God in Christ. He kinomite you. Are you listening? Before you, there was nobody that had this kind of righteousness. No one. Yet, as a new creation, he blessed you with this thing. I said, don't waste it. They're big things. Say this with me. Say, I'm failure proof. <laughs> say like you mean, say, I'm failure proof. And for that, I am daring big things. I'm taking giant steps. I am stepping into the life. I'm stepping into life. Knowing that I cannot fail and I am winning everywhere. By the anointing of God's spirit. Libra de garabosto chevre bestos. Oh, Jakarta, da, da, day. I said, don't waste your righteousness. Don't waste your... Yeah, yeah, if there's anybody around you, tell them and let them hear it. Don't waste this righteousness. Don't waste it. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. Announce it to them and let them be sure. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Do something with it. Fulfill your purpose with it. You are failure proof. So step out and fulfill Step out and achieve. Step out and become. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? Glory to God. Lift your hands and celebrate it. 